Greenlight process is our way to communicate to UPS accounts that we want to work on. Occasionally what happens when you request a green light on an account that the UPS rep is already working on, you'll get a green light denied and it will give you a specific reason. So let's use this account for example. The carousel horse, uh, we submitted a green light. Let's see, we submitted a green light in November and it came back denied. You can see the reason why it's denied under the service request tab. See so UPS green light denied, summary, it's assigned. So this is the most common denial that you'll get. And what this means is that it's been assigned to a UPS rep to try to go win that business. So it's been given to them as a task to try to win that business in this area, in their area. The purpose of green lights is to give UPS the first right of refusal to deals that they're working on and prospects that they want to try to, they want to bring on in their own book of business. So we can appeal these green lights if we feel like we have a valid reason. Uh, to be able to work with this customer or if there's been no engagement from UPS and we have the right to be able to go work on that deal. So what we do is we have a ROE denial form shown here and the link will be in the training site. And what we do is we submit to our corporate office through franchise support asking them to communicate with UPS that we'd like to appeal this denial and get it overturned so we can work on it. Um, so you're going to fill out all the franchise information, your name, the customer, the customer company name, the customer's U1 number that you have them in U1 and in, in the on the account that's been denied. If it's multi-site, what their projected revenue is, and what is the reason you feel it is uh, inaccurate. So on this one, for instance, I know that it's it's been assigned to a UPS rep, but there's been no engagement from UPS at all. No rep has reached out, and she's interested in working with Unishippers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say no contact from UPS. Um, it's all FedEx volume and we'd like to pursue this and I'm going to submit this through this form site. Once you do that, it takes anywhere from two to three business days for UPS to get that into their funnel. And then five to seven business days after that, it will be overturned and you can actually get access to this account or if there really is a rep working on it and your prospect just didn't know and they are engaged, then it will still come back denied. And at that point, we can work with UPS at the local level. But this is the first thing that we do to overturn a green light that we feel like we should have access to. A couple things to remember. If a UPS rep is engaged on the account and it's assigned, you won't get it overturned. If they're currently um, in a sales process with UPS, you won't get it overturned. If UPS has volume uh, currently that they're doing, you won't get it overturned. So you need to make sure this is a good prospect with someone who's accessible for us and they don't have engagement from UPS.